Uh, Vito, you still on that website? Because I need you to do work here, okay? <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't care about your cholesterol. <laughs> you were three week ago, Chris. <laughs> What's your, and you say you can't balance it with your food thing? Yeah, I, I can't figure out the right way to handle it. And I've What's been... a food that you feel like you can't give up? Because I know you're starches guy, right? I'm a fucking huge starches guy and uh, mashed potatoes. Bre I... Bread and potatoes is the big tough thing. Yeah. Bread and potatoes, mashed potatoes, just specifically, I just can't get enough of, especially like <laughs> cheesy with like sour cream and shit mixed in. Uh, I love those. And well, it seems like a mashed potato is something you should get enough of. Like, it's a very heavy <laughs> It's food. a very, yeah. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the potato is a very weird thing with us because um, it, it, we only we potatoes the only thing that's available at every meal. Yes. You could have home fries, you could have French fries, you could have a baked potato, and then what else is there? There's potato tots, mm -hmm. curly fry. Um, that's I, gonna go in the fry category. I'm gonna agree there, okay. uh, and a steak fry as well. Before you jump into that, although please keep those away from me. It's like a long baked potato. I don't want it. All right, here's the here's the thing. And if you'd like to join in at home, this could be a great social experiment. By the way, Chris and I were in a social experiment with two kids from Columbia out front. Oh, really? They asked us if we liked the plaza on a scale of one to five. I said five. <laughs> I said three. I think they were trying to find out that people like a little green in the city. <laughs> you said three? I said three. Well, well you love that plaza. I know. And I told them I'm here. They asked, How often are you here? Every single day. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to, like, I was supposed to just have one to five answers, and I was expanding. <laughs> and I literally said, I'm going to be a grandfather soon, too, so my happiness is probably up over where it should be. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. Uh, and I think we got vetoes. Okay. But if you could only, let's suppose they said you could only have one style of potato the rest of your life. If you'd like to join in on this. 844 Rock God, 844 Rock God. Because I believe this is the most important question being asked in America today. And I'm going to say North America. I'm going to include uh, Mexico and Canada in this. <laughs> and I don't think anybody on the on the planet likes potato as much as as Americans. No. We're the potato people. The Irish, I suppose. Yeah, but do you ever There's see how a... they prepare it? I know. Boiled. They don't even know I mean, what to like, do with it. It's the worst potato is the boiled potato. <laughs> it's the laziest. It's saying there's no difference between a potato and a tea bag. It's the same thing. <laughs> Ooh, does anyone ever drink that potato water after? Yes, the Irish do. They <laughs> put a little whiskey in it and off they go. <laughs> All right, 844 Rock God, 844 Rock God. Everyone would think you can only have one style potato and that means you know if you get whatever it is that's all you can have your potato prepared that way so i think we're looking at baked fries home fries which i'm going to yeah. say are different oh, definitely. than french fries vito's beloved mashed potato tots tots and i'll throw in and a hash brown i think is also very different than a like a roasted potato. And I'm going to make this harder. Chips. Oh, Whoa! Because look at this. Think of the summer. If you don't have fries with your hot dog, you know, you're at the pool, you're going to have chips. <laughs> this so is not chips one are that I'm thinking about. So All when right. everyone else is eating potato chips, you're going to be eating on a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, this is real. This is actually going to happen. <laughs> you just, you just can't say this. I didn't know I yes. agreed to this. How about Al Groton? Is that thrown in there? Yes, Throw Al Groton. it in, yes. Throw Any it. preparation. Um, <laughs> all right, this is tough. Now, before I go to you guys, I'm going to go to some of these callers because obviously the, the phones are blowing up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> People are uh, passionate about potatoes. Yeah, they are. Um... Uh, Jason, Jason, one potato the rest of your life. A really crispy, lionized hash brown with cheese on top. You really are from Wisconsin. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the most, that is the most <laughs> of all time. Um, now, the problem, of course, with hash browns is, do you want hash browns with a hot dog? Do you want yes. hash browns with a cheeseburger? And not every place prepares them. 
Oh, yeah, you know you're I mean? right. Like, yeah. You go to a breakfast place, some places don't make a hash. And they're not going to make the it. North, a, a, anyway. They're going to be a 24-hour diner because yep. they're not going to go at dinner. Oh, yeah, we'll do a hash brown for you. Um, Scott, Scott in Tennessee. My mom's gorgonzola mashed potatoes are the best. What's, what, are, what, are you, what are we talking about here? Gorgonzola? Putting gorgonzola yeah, cheese in the mashed potatoes? What's this people with the constant yeah. cheese in the mashed potatoes? I don't know. Is the starch not enough? Thank you, Chris. That's a good point. There's no need for all the cheese. Um, hey, uh, Dan. Dan in Ohio. Hey, Ben. Hey. How's it going? Uh, I'm going to go potato soup. Only potato soup. Potato soup? Ew. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. He, this guy's no. not serious. He's going to miss. He's it's gonna not going to help you if you got... Yeah, so steak. Potato That's soup? exactly where I was going. <laughs> and can I get a side of potato soup with that? <laughs> That that really came out of left field. Uh, Chris, let's go to you. I thought I knew what I was going to say, but then you threw something in there that fucked my head up. I got to go potato chip. Wow. That's it. Potato chip. <laughs> I wasn't thinking potato chip in the potato family, but I have a serious potato chip problem. And yes, I, that would be good for you to get rid of it. No, 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 no. This I has something it. to do with the cholesterol. I've it? never seen you eating potato chips. Yes, you have. No, I've seen you eat a ton of fries. You eat fries every meal that I say. Yes, I love fries. And you're not going to have fries anymore. You're going to say, we're going to go to Five Guys, and you're going to go, do you have a chip back there, very kind? <laughs> I don't think it can be done. I'm going to do the potato chip. The crispiness of, of a potato <laughs> chip is too much. To, and the saltiness is too much and to the give the quantity up. you're allowed to eat. Yes, I can just eat a fucking giant bag of potato chip. I, I, I knew think, it had to do with the quantity. I, I'm going to say this. You're going to regret. <laughs> you are going you're to go regret, to a nice my steak place And open a private bag of Lay's out of your bag. <laughs> They're going to tell you no outside chips. I fucked up. Chris and I know. <laughs> I hey, y'all, what are y'all doing? Yeah. Y'all have a good day? Great. <laughs> I mean, my choice is a twice baked potato. Now, here's the thing about the twice baked potato. It's just a little crispier, right? Yeah. Um, and I, then I think it's like, don't you pull out the like you pull out the potato? You're going meat. for a potato skin, then? No, yeah. and then you fluff it back in, and then you top it. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's, that's a yeah, cupcake. Right, yeah. yeah. Chris, you just put up pictures Got of cupcakes. These are potatoes. potatoes. No, they're not. <laughs> there it is. Let, put, turn that's it a, to us. It's like an old-fashioned potato Turn it to skin. us. We need to look. Yeah. It's like an old-fashioned potato skin. And by the way, America, let's say in the 80s, Got on a potato skin thing it, like it was disco. Dude, I'm like, telling you. Wherever you went, there were potato skins. I, I was born... And raised and grew up in the height of potato skin, and I didn't it think was there the was one appetizer. any other appetizer. Like I thought you were sick if you picked something else as an appetizer. Um, and then it fell out just as quickly as it came in. I know. I fucking loved a potato skin as a kid. Like right now, you'll say to somebody, "Can I get? You have any potato skins?" And they're like, "The skin? <laughs> I have a potato." And I'm like, "Yeah." And they go, "You want some banana skins for that as well?" <laughs> B potato skins were the chicken wing at one point. Yeah, absolutely. I had no idea that oh. it was that huge. But yeah, it's, massive. Well, when Fridays became a mainstay across the a country, Benigans or a what Benigans have you, or Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> uh, I can't think of how many other of those chilies. Fucking yeah, chilies. <laughs> Red Robin. Yeah, they're all out there. They're all the same. And for some reason, you can get a meal for eight dollars, and it scares me. Unlimited too. Sometimes it's just unlimited chicken wings for eight dollars. No, there isn't. I like. They got TGI Fridays. They have unlimited apps. Unlimited for eight dollars. I'll check the price. Yeah, because you're lying. Bottomless not, apps? It's not apps. You get like to choose one app, I think. For eight dollars? Oh, I I'll understand that. But that's not bottomless, is it? <laughs> no. There is a bottom. No, there there isn't a bottom. You can keep eating chicken wings. If you if you choose chicken wings as your app, you can By the way, bottomless only works for a beverage. <laughs> it doesn't work for a food. <laughs> yeah. No one's gonna say oh. we have bottomless meatloaf. <laughs> um, Mike. Mike in Buffalo. Talk about the potato, the official fruit of Ireland. Something better than a big potato. Yeah, there's plenty of things better than a baked potato. Most of these other potatoes. A baked potato <laughs> is so bland that you have to add tons of things yeah. to it. 
I can't have a baked potato without some sort of a large quantity of fat added to it. Yes. So it's got to be sour cream or lots of butter and like Baby. something like chives or something. Something to give I me always something. A- I always ask to put fries in there <laughs> so I can have a little taste. Just dip. All right, Vito, we heard you going on and on about the mash. Yeah. Are you going to surprise us or is that? I mean, I, I was all on board with mashed and then I forgot about potato skins. This does not make sense. It doesn't Please make stay sense. With mash. Is, I'm going to tell you, 90% so. of dinner places you'll go, you'll find a mash. You're not, we just told you they're not in vogue anymore. Don't fuck this up. But it's they're available everywhere. I'm very passionate about Every this. Every Fridays. Any Fridays I can walk into a Yes. Them. You, don't Today, be, you don't want to be like the guy calling with the twice baked? Yeah. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Like, First you're of asking all, so much. I'm not saying what you're doing is dumber than Chris it with is. just chips. <laughs> chips no, that's are ridiculous. Awesome. You're all going to miss <laughs> chips when you're eating a sandwich. There's no doubt. You're right. I'll miss There's it. This time where we'll miss whatever <laughs> the other ones are. Where I will be living in hell the rest of the time. But this. this would be a lot harder to give up chips if I were 12. <laughs> my idea with the potato skins is that i could like crush them up if i want and then mix them and that's like a mashed potato no oh, no like this, this isn't the whole fucking point that you can beat the system no i hate when you play he with someone and they know. act like i'm gonna live for three more wishes shut the <laughs> fuck up we have something lined up here and honor means something yes obviously anyone who has a baked Potato can then take that and mash it themselves, but you're not permitted. That's now, not the Can I game. do my veto impression? Could I have some of Ian's potatoes? <laughs> no, you can't. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> and Chris, you're getting yeah. potato chips and nothing else. <laughs> that's going to be great for a short amount of time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gail, before I go to you. Okay. I have no idea what Jen's going to choose. Here. I'm so interested in what Jen is going to choose. I feel like it's going to be a waffle fry. Uh, let's jump into some of these, though. Will, what do you got? Uh, Amish potato salad. It's what we do up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And that's it? You yeah. have that on the side of your eggs? Dude, I'm going to... On the t- side of your turkey? I'm going to tell you right now, I thought about how much I'll miss potato salad because it's not going to be my choice. Yeah. But, again... I don't think you're picking the most practical. It's delicious, and that's going to be one of the hardest things to turn down a potato salad. I fucking love a potato salad. I love my mom's potato salad above all else, but how many times a year am I eating it (laughs) compared to a fry? You know what I mean? (laughs) Now, Jen, she's a wild card. You have no idea where this vegan, fishian, whatever she is, this Yale graduate is going to go. What are you going with? Tater tots. See, oh. there you go. That's the most immature answer we've had yet. With That's ketchup. more immature than than Chris's. Oh, much more so. Tots. What do you? What else do you want with a cut up hot dog? <laughs> mm. I see. Ketchup or or cheese. Cheese is good too. <laughs> you like a loaded tot? You're saying yes, minus the bacon because I can't eat the bacon. You're eating the bacon. <laughs> That's part. You're top mom now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I mean, it's not only enough that Howie Mandel drops in, tells us he listens daily. Uh, look at this giant comedy star, Mr. Tommy Johnigan. Yeah. Tommy. Hey, buddy. Uh, can I ask a chip question? Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, is it unlimited types of chips? If you say potato chips, do you get all the chips? Oh, when I say potato chips, I don't need any of it. I just need a basic chip. Not, I don't need any flavor chips. Why are you making it harder on yourself? We didn't even say what <laughs> oh you're going to do. I was about to agree with Chris. I, I felt if you get all the chips, I think it's potato chip hands down. No. First of all, who needs a vinegar chip? <laughs> I like you know what I mean? <laughs> Who needs a barbecued chip? This, these things are just powders. <laughs> They're disgusting powders. They're not even a food. That's what I'm saying. I'm a can pure you, chipist. Think, can you powder your I baked potato? I think my white, my white trash roots thinks potato chips can go with any food you eat. <laughs> <laughs> potato <laughs> chips like, and steak as, is totally fine for you. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll dip it in the ketchup. It's fine. Now, what about with your eggs in the morning? 
I crumple the chips up on the edge. <laughs> it's a nice crunch. <laughs> so you're agreeing with Chris. Potato, you get to yeah. shake a bag above your head when you're done with it. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> now, you, but you would say, but you need the full flavors of, of and Chris, you're just going a plain potato. A nice salted chip. Yeah. Just salt. It's all Why do you laugh at him? Yeah. He's a person, Gail. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dude, okay? Huh? Just Where does nice... that mean to think I'm from? <laughs> Just a nice salted chip. Yeah, you can have nice if that's <laughs> yes, he wants they're, nice. They're going to be nice. I mean, yeah. am I getting nice or what? So you're. I can do a baked, yeah. baked chip. Pringles, if I've got company, this is the whole thing. <laughs> Pulling out the stops. I had no idea you were doing so right. well, Tommy. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm hey, all chips. Tommy, you going back to Montreal this year? Uh, I don't. I'm not this year. I'm gonna take this year off. I'm okay. hoping to get to New York soon, though. All right, keep in touch with us, will you, buddy? All right, all right, buddy. Bye. All right, see you guys. Peace. He's the funniest. Yeah, he's the best. Do you remember when we were just riding to the gig? In Montreal. Oh my God. And he. The three of us were in the car and we were dying. Dying. And just let, ready to let him hold court. And I got to the gig and I'm like, shit, I'm exhausted already. Because <laughs> it was slow getting. He was just bitching about everything, the, the whole ride, the, anything, <laughs> the way his itinerary was set up. Just <laughs> the fact that he had discomfort and <laughs> the way he was pleasure. explaining it. Man, I swear to God, we it was one of those things where you're laughing so hard, you're seeing white. <laughs> Tommy Johnigan, he's a fucking killer. He's literally a killer. No, not literally. <laughs> well, we don't know for sure. <laughs> By the way, I just have to say yeah. that last night during the Met Gala, one of the girls from the E! Uh, red carpet was like talking about, uh, who's that? Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto. Leto. And so he's got, he's wearing like a headpiece himself. He's got the long hair going beard. And she said, I mean, can we talk about the beard and the hair right now? He is literally Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's one time you really shouldn't overdo literally. Yeah. He is literally Jesus Christ. Jared, <laughs> Jared awesome. Leto. Is it Leto or Leto, Jen? I think it's Leto. Okay, Jared Leto is T.J. Miller. There is no difference. I mean, T.J.'s a little more of a mess, but they're both rocking the same personality. They're very similar. Um... Here's Ocean Joe. Hey, Ocean Joe. Hey, Bennington. I feel that the home fry is the only acceptable answer in this whole scenario. Oh, wow. Because you can have it with every food group. Like, everyone wants to fry. But there comes an age where you can't be getting fries with steaks and fries with... So the home fry, at least, you can have it with breakfast, you can have it with lunch, even at dinner. Yeah, I, I disagree. I, no. It's a very... Uh, Couldn't have it with dinner. It's a once in a, it's a, once in a while thing. It's a once in a while thing. Uh, Fran, what do you got, darling? Yo, hi, Ron. Yeah. First of all, it was great meeting you last week at the Stress Factory. Nice Your meeting you, too. Been... Oh, you said it was fantastic. It was so much fun, and everybody was so great. Yeah. Um, my favorite potato and my husband's. Uh, he was the larger gentleman sitting with me that you made fun of, too. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I, I roast potatoes in the oven with sausages. You get the small potatoes like the small yellow oh, or, oh, yeah. or and you have them and then when you season them and you put them in the oven with the potatoes they take on some of the flavor from the sausage mm -hmm. both hot and sweet and you let them get really crusted and crispy on the outside and they're nice and soft on the inside now it's a fantastic thing but every meal well, that's the only potato now oh but wait you take that same potato that you have with dinner huh and then you can have them again for breakfast. You fry them up and you got home fries. Or you do one of my favorite breakfasts. You mix it in with scrambled eggs. It's an Italian thing called potatoes and eggs. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's delicious. It's good. I love it. All right, Fran, you made a really good place for this, for roasted potatoes yeah. and... Uh, Snossages. Yeah. Chris Oops. will be eating chips during all that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to enjoy myself. Uh, Doug, Doug, what's up? Chris, why wouldn't you just switch to corn chips and then you can enjoy regular potatoes as well? Good point. No, can I just say something in Chris's defense here? My chick is always throwing tortilla chips on the side of things. 
That's not a fucking potato chip. A corn <laughs> chip is not a potato Chris chip. Just gave two middle fingers in the air yeah. to, I guess, my mom. No, no, I'm talking for to having a like corn chip. He was talking to society, <laughs> but he's a rebel. He's gonna fucking fly <laughs> that bird up he's there. He's passionate about a potato chip. He's like, I'm an American. Okay, don't no, give me I, one of those I, south of the border. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not the same chip. It's not the same experience. Every single fucking alternative chip to the potato chip sucks. Dick. <laughs> it, 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 all of them are just off because what, you, what everyone really wants is a potato chip. That's not true either, though, Chris. You're not sitting around um, having guacamole and shoving a fucking potato. Yeah, chip that's by disgusting. Will in this new world. <laughs> You don't have to. <laughs> You're allowed to have corn. You're no allowed to have all the corn, corn products. Chips. That's a different no conversation. No one can have maize. <laughs> 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 this, is the, this is why I hate doing stuff. Because you see how confused people get. <laughs> All right, Gail. All right. I thought about this a long time. Yeah. I've had a, a couple moments where I thought, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm telling you, it's going to be hard to give up a mashed potato. It's going to be hard to give up potato salad. It's going to be hard to br- give up home fries yeah. in the morning. But if you don't pick French fry, you're fucking crazy. Because the jealousy that you have when you don't order fries and you look at someone else's fries. I don't have jealousy. Not, I fucking pick fries off there. That's what I'm saying. You'll never like y- now you won't be able to do that. There is no possible way you could do it. Now, here's the thing. Yes. Is it going to be difficult not to have home fries? But I'll have breakfast with french fries like i like that's brunch dude like you can do it yeah you can have you can instead of home fries you can get french fries on the side it's not ideal but i just think you are giving up too much if you give up the french fry my only concern about it and i'm just gonna like i'm i'm one that like i'm just gonna voice my concerns is that a fry out is always better than a fry in Unless you like kill it, maybe you have some big deep fryer well, at home, gonna but I don't. Learn, you're gonna have but I'm to. gonna have to like I'm gonna have to become like very skilled at making French. But fries. you realize the amount of oil you've added to your life now. Yeah, I know. I understand it, you know but I just you I'm were just hearing about it from Howie. I'm Mendo. telling you, the jealousy factor when you look over and see somebody else's fries is going to be too much. It could drive someone to suicide. I think. Oh, it has in the past. Uh, there was a time. That I didn't get fries and everyone else did. And I broke my glass and I cut my throat. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? I'm glad I did. Because it made me think, I'll never make this mistake again. I'm going to say something for the mashed potato, though. It's the only potato that you're like, oh, let me have it with the meat. You know what I mean? Like, I don't take a French yes. fry and have a... This was a concern for me because I feel like as a child, it's how I learned to eat vegetables yes. was to take vegetable, dunk in mashed potatoes, and then just focus on said mashed potatoes to the point that even now as an adult, I enjoy vegetables, but I still like the combo. No, I'm still a combo prefer, person too. I still prefer the combo of a vegetable, a vegetable doused in mashed potato. You, you take your vegetable, your mashed potato piece of meat, and you're like, yeah. I made it like a fucking fun thing here. I know. I can experiment. <laughs> <laughs> like it lets you be creative yeah. and you're right but to go back to my french fry point the 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 uh, variation you're you're picking something nuts like twice baked or i'll say it jen a tot you're getting one type of thing right. there's an endless world of french fries all different styles that i feel like i'm now allowed to explore yeah can, but, i can have it curly can i yeah go ahead and have it curly it's still french fry you know what i mean it's just a stupid or worse one like, there's worse fucking examples of the great fry. You know what I mean? Like, the fry is the best. You're like, oh, now let me have a duller version of a fry. <laughs> Here's my thing. Because normally, it's this, I, I'm, I'm leaning mashed potato because mm-hmm. of the reasons I gave. But I can't tell you how much I love steak frites. I know, it's so good together. It's the only time I have it. I won't, I won't order... Steak fries in a fucking restaurant. Oh, you know no, what I mean? That's stupid. I don't go to a steakhouse and order French fries because I know what I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but a steak free in a good fucking French place so is good. so delicious. It's like one of the most perfect meals. 
Something that Chris will be eating with potato chips, I suppose. It'll be nice and salty. You know what? There's one thing to stick to your guns, but yeah. not to the thing of dropping your intelligence. You're giving up a lot. Yeah. I understand. Giving Look, up I, a lot. I told you the shortcomings with French fries. I was, uh, but I still thought about it and I still stand my ground. You're you're acting like this is the best. And I'm in a struggle. And by the way, French fry, I mean, potato chips aren't even part of my struggle. <laughs> He's going to look like some peasant just coming into a steakhouse with a bag of wise potato chips. Look, I'm going to admit now, uh, there's been a, a, a real attempt to ruin fucking potato chips for me by Gail's mom. She won't pick up real potato chips. And I'm not going to go out of my way and just go to the store and get a bag of fucking chips. That makes me look like a loser. <laughs> But I can't enjoy chips the way I did before. <laughs> and if I get a bag of chips, fuck, forget about it. It's over, man. Yeah, I might as well have caramel corn. <laughs> I'm going to treat it the same way as I do caramel corn. <laughs> I'm fucked with this. I'm really fucked. And you know what pisses me off? I'm the person who fucking started this. I know. And now I painted myself into a corner. Um, hey, uh, Annette, Annette, what's up? Hey. I was going to tell you, if you're going to do fries at home, an air fryer. <laughs> Not all that. <laughs> I don't want air fucking in my fries. I want grease. What's an air fryer? You don't know? Put, like a couple of teaspoons of air, in, uh, oil in there, and they still taste like the best fries ever. Oh, yeah, that's not possible. You want it soaked in oil is what you're saying. Puro, all right? I want all that fucking good shit. Puro. Not air, just fucking straight oil. Pure, did you call oil O? Like puro, like pure oil. Instead of like not mixing it with fucking air. But and, why are you calling it pure oil? I just came back from Spain, you know? And they say that? Oh, yeah, they say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way they say it. Oh, were you there? Are you were not you, making uh, sense? Why did you do it? You just fucking added pure oil. I thought it was like a type of oil that people like. No, no, I'm just saying like straight fucking oil. But you, you said it in a different that, language. Instead of saying <laughs> pure oil, you said pure oil. And I got mad at us that we weren't in Spain. <laughs> You're fucking this whole thing up. I can't believe you didn't choose potatoes. Bravos. <laughs> Chris and Philly, Chris. Hi, Gail. Well, first, congratulations. Second thing, thank you. Are On you my friends, are you considering uh, tater tots part of French fries? I'll I, take your answer. Off. I, I, I actually don't. Nobody and would. I would, uh, I feel like I would be breaking the rules if I tried to have a tot. That's not the consistency, shape. No. You know, I no. don't think so. A tater tot only goes with jello or some kind of other thing. A I'm going to allow have. myself the standard French fry, like mm -hmm. a skinny fry, uh, a curly fry, shoestring. I feel like that after that. Yeah, but could, would you have a puro with it? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's nothing. And it certainly isn't from Spain. And you can't Spanish. be in Spain for four days and suddenly act like you don't understand. But how, like, almost like he looked at us and he just shrugged and went, puro. Like, because he, he knows said. he knows how ridiculous he is and he sticks with it just like he's sticking with the chip thing <laughs> and saying he doesn't want, even want any flavors he's bastardized this game you could have had barbecue suck all right <laughs> douche the <laughs> you're the fucking douche no he got he's you Chris. right he Why was able just to put it together shot? in one yeah. word this is like me coming back and being like well i spent two days on this line and the five guys is the only option that you can go with <laughs> There's fucking potato chips everywhere. <laughs> that wasn't even a word. <laughs> Douche. 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 Uh, Jason. Jason, what's up? Hey, Bennington. What's going on? Good. I feel like someone needs to go on record and stand up for the boyfriend or husband of the whack job with the air fryer. <laughs> and just say... And that was Air adorable. Does not fry stuff. Yeah, and that was adorable, but you should, it's like that thing, like you ever know somebody on a diet, and they're like, I'm having my own pizza. It's, it's carrots on top of a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling that a pizza? It Yum. isn't. It isn't. I mean, like cauliflower there's, a reason steak? They sell, yeah. Yeah, there's a reason they sell air fryers on TV at 2 in the morning, because whack jobs and drug addicts buy them, and that's pretty much it. All right, thanks, Jesse. You're hard on people, but I see where you're coming tough from. Tough but fair. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> really tough. <laughs> I, uh, hey, uh, Dave in Virginia. 
What's up, guys? Yeah, corned beef hash. Can't live without it. If I have to eat it for lunch and dinner, that, then so be it. I know it's a breakfast food, but I can't live in a world without corned beef hash. Again, this is like you're really you're really limiting, limiting yourself. yourself. I mean, first of all, you're limiting yourself to World War One. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> look, I think corned beef hash is pretty cool, but it's like it's like nothing. It can't that be you can all get the time. Most places. <laughs> look, I'm. First of all, I, I've. I haven't made my choice yet because I've realized that I'm fucked with turkey or I'm fucked with a hamburger. Yeah. Because I don't want a mashed potato with, with my fucking hamburger. Ugh. And I certainly don't want fries with my turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking horrific. This is actually a nightmare scenario that you've and created. I was going full. I mean, full out mashed potatoes until I start, thought of steak frites. And I don't know if I can live in a world. I know. Fuck. Could I go to like different countries and then be able to eat whatever I want there? I mean, who's good? Who's stopping me? I don't want to be like Chris and just lying about how much I love chips. I it's not a lie. Uh, Mike in Minnesota, what's up, Mike? Yo, I'm the fish dude. Hey, I called with you a while back. I was in Wisconsin the one day. I love your show. Satellite radio took me out of a cave, and you guys are freaking awesome. Thanks, man. I got kicked off the radio for saying motherfucker and every other word because I didn't hit the right button. On regular radio? Yeah. Yeah, they hate but that. But this is like a new world to me since the company gave me satellite in my van. Yeah, it changes everything. Oh, so does the stroke. So my potato intake's got to be non processed versus processed. Because it could affect me having a meal or not having any for three days. So, I, like a baked potato is always the way to go. But once you get to go to the store to buy some fries, one store brand is 500 milligrams, one brand zero. So he's got to worry so, about that. So it yeah. Sucks because I can't figure out what to eat. Yeah. Once you have the stroke, and you know, after that, you're like, oh no, I don't want another stroke. Yeah. Like it yeah. is a really nice bottom to have a stroke. <laughs> Uh, well, I was I was a DJ. And, you know, you work two hours, you know, all the way through the night, a couple hours of sleep. I'm going to be 50 in December, so I was kind of cheating getting all my work done. So, you know, the free massive cocaine and a little booze, just, yeah. And then you're laying in the hospital. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but. So now I've had, I can only eat 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day. But you can still do cocaine, right? <laughs> what was that? You can still do cocaine. I mean, there's no calories uh, in that. Mm -hmm. no yeah, but I think figure since I, I pretty much fucking do everything up most of my first part of the life, I want to prove everybody wrong and live to be a hunter. So I pretty much had to quit everything and be a pussy and just deliver fish. <laughs> All right, Mike. Thanks, pal. I like that he wants to stay alive to prove people wrong. <laughs> I prove all I'll, you motherfuckers wrong. I'll get you. Yeah. Now who's fucking laughing, you bricks? <laughs> I'm alive. I'm eating a baked potato with nothing on it. <laughs> uh, Elliot, Ohio. Hey, guys. Hey, it's real easy to give up mashed potatoes because you have mashed cauliflower. No, but you're saying that for home, but you're not going to go out to a restaurant and have yeah. mashed cauliflower. Some places. I mean, there's like vegan places all over the place, Ugh. right? Ugh. <laughs> I'd rather fucking crash my car. <laughs> <laughs> Even so Jen won't eat in a vegan place. I, yeah, I don't want to. I haven't tried it yet, though. That's terrible. It's all vegan food. Yeah, I, I mean, cheese. It's called Chloe, I think it's called. It's in New You're York. You're too, Chloe, Chloe. <laughs> Dude, I went to a Czechoslovakian place the other night. Really? I thought, I'm not going to like this at all. It was on fucking Really? It was so good. Jen, I couldn't take you. Very meaty, right? Yeah, I mean, there's schnitzel, and I had duck. I'm always going to go for duck whenever I can. But yeah, it's hearty food. It's a hearty, hearty meal. Yeah. But uh, I think I was the only person in there that spoke English. Really? Everybody was just talking Czechoslovakian. Good sign. And, well, I'll tell you off the air, something else. 
Okay. But it's really fucking funny. Um, hey, we need to break here, right, Chris? Yes. You got any you live reads? We have some live reads are coming in momentarily. Me, me, momentarily. Did you, you have a job or did not? Did you make your final decision? I'm gonna go with fries because of the steak frites and his fucking he. I'm gonna try the cauliflower mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any other fucking thing. I hate the way all these people are loading their mashed potatoes up with cheese, though. Yeah, it kind of grosses me out. Cheese, sour cream. Cheese, sour cream. Half and half. Like a fucking monster from some <laughs> puppet movie. Cheese, sour cream. That's not the way you want to fucking present yourself. You getting any closer to meeting girls? <laughs> not with this voice. <laughs>